Hijacking. Getting root access can allow you to read the flag. Luckily, there's a Python file that you might like to play with. Through social engineering, we've got the credentials to use on the server, SSH. Okay, check for hidden files. No place like home. Okay, well, let's um, SSH over there, see what's up. Pico CTF at Saturn. Pico CTF .net. Password. Okay, so there's a hidden file server.py. exciting. Okay, let's go to try to ping picoctf.org. Ping doesn't work. Ping doesn't work. Okay. Right. So it says I want to privilege escalate. I wonder what I can sudo. All right, so I can sudo. Oh, let's see what the path is. User local s bin, user local bin, bin. Okay, it doesn't look like I can do anything there. Nothing there. Uh, nothing useful there. Okay. Well, I don't see much going on there. All right, so it's going to import base sixty four and OS and socket. So that's in user lib. Oh, well, this is interesting. I have full write permission to say base64.py. Well, that's, that's certainly fun. Yeah, it looks like my font got smaller. Let's see how did that happen. Okay, so if I were to edit, this file, let's just port, I don't know, OS, let's say OS.system. some challenges that could be fun. So we need a pseudo Python 3 server or is it dot server dot PY? I need that password again. Oh, uh, 
can't access slash challenges. Oh, it's slash challenge. Okay, so. All right, so that has a metadata.json file. So. JSON. All right, so here's our flag, Python library hijacking. So I was able to modify base64.py in the Python library. Sudo was going to let me run that as root, and I was able to get it to display the contents of this file for me while running as root.